Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I'm going to cut straight to the chase. 4570 ammo test. We're going to do 100 yard groups. This is my 4570. This is a Marlin model 1895. There are quite a few different manufacturers making 4570s. Why did I get this one? Because it's literally the cheapest one you can get. So Marlin model 1895. Uh, some people don't like the scope I got, it, got on it, but uh, it works great. And I'm fixing to show you here in this video. Uh, but my thinking, uh, iron sights, you're not going to get same whole groups. You're not going to have precision with iron sights. I don't care who you are. I will beat you with the scope when you're using iron sights. Hey, that's just me. A lot of people with the levers like the irons. If I can put a scope on it, I'm going to put a scope on it. But... We're going to go to 100 yards out at the range. I've got five different types of ammo. I'll show you those real quick. First, Fort Scott munitions, 300 grain. Then we got some Winchester Super X, 300 grains. These are actually what this Bing Bang is sighted in with. Then we got some of the Federal Fusion stuff. These are also 300 grainers. Then we got two different lever revolutions. These are the 325 grain GTX. I'm not impressed with these. I took a big old axis deer with these last year and had to track it like 200 yards. Y'all go check out that video. And then I've got some of these lever revolutions and these are the 250 grainers. But, <clears throat> uh, let's hit the range. Comment down below which one you think is going to do best. I think it's going to be interesting. If, if you fling as much bullets as I do, you know uh, your bing bangs can be picky and they're going to like some ammo over others. But let's see what my 1895 likes. I've never done an ammo test like this in 4570. Should be a whole lot of fun. Check it out. All right, so the first three shot group is with this Winchester. 300 grain super x this is actually what this 4570 is sighted in with so hopefully get some pretty good groups if you're not familiar these are some lead nose points there good deer hunting round let's load up three and send it out of hunter Somebody's going to be drooling all over the brass for this video, but here we go. Send three of these. Get about an inch and a half high. Not going to touch the scope. Very good group there, I'd say. Let's go on to the next one. Next, we have this Fort Scott stuff. This is the same grain weight. It's 300 grain, all copper rounds. I'll show you one quick. I've never tried this stuff. It was pretty expensive, uh, so hopefully it's good. But it's just an all copper round there, flat nose. But yeah, this cost me 45 bucks plus tax, so $50 for this box. Can't hardly get them out of the box here. There we go. But load three of these and send three of these. That hit center there. Some would say that first is the fouling shot, but yeah, I don't really get with that. Maybe it is. Shoot, let's send another one. Let's send another one. Let's just spend some more money. This is an expensive video. Send another one. I'm not going the same hole as those other two. And 
it is. So that was the clover leaf. So uh, let's do a fallow shot for all of them. All right, next is this Clever Revolution 325 grain. Next, we have more Lecker Revolution. These are the 250 grain. Those did pretty good. And the last one is these Federal Fusions. These are also 300 grainers. Oh, lead tips. Let's do a three shot group of these and see how these go. I'll do one in the dirt again. Let's go grab the targets and we'll take them to the house and review them. Uh, I'll be right back, see how good those did. All right, so back from the range. Were you surprised? I absolutely was. Let me move this out of the way and I'll show you. I, me I measured the groups. Let's go from worst group to best group. Let me see here. We had two tie for the worst. First, I've I've circled the groups in red circles here. The Federal Fusions 2.25 inch group. Now, is that good enough for taking deer at 100 yards? Probably so. But um, in a hunting bing bang, I wanted to do better than 2.25 inches. That's the Federal Fusion. And then uh, the Winchester Super X. This is the one that my uh, 4570 was already sighted in with. Uh, actually, no, there was another bad one. This is the Hornady 325 grain. This is the one that I took that axis deer with. I said ran 200 yards. But another 2.25 inch group. Good enough for hunting. Eh, yeah, sure. But. I like them to do better than that, and we did. Then this is the Winchester Super X, the one that it's sighted in with, simply because I had the most of this to sight it in. One and a half inch group, so we're definitely getting better here. Then had two really, really impressed me. So here is the 250 grain Hornady Lever Evolution. A three quarters of an inch group at a hundred yards just made one big hole there. I'm impressed. 250 grain Hornady Lever Evolution. <clears throat> then the winner. Got to give the winner props. Uh, Fort Scott Munitions got a 0.625 inch group or 5 8 inch group at a hundred yards. So. There's our group right there. Super impressed, but the winner, Fort Scott Munitions, all copper, 300 grain. Now, your uh, Bing Bang might like something different, but if you got an 1895, a uh, similar model as mine, you probably get some similar results. But appreciate you guys watching. Comment down below which one you like. I'm going to try to find some more. We can do this again with some more loadings. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all on the next one. 4570. Hootie hoo.